In this video, we're going to use substitution to evaluate a definite integral with the power rule. It says evaluate the definite integral below, and they give you the integral from negative 1 to 0 of 3x squared divided by 3x cubed minus 2 cubed dx. Now, we're going to have to figure out what u is, and I think that because this has a higher power, x cubed, than x squared is, and it's the inside function for this cubic, that it makes sense that we say that u is equal to 3x cubed minus 2. So then I would rewrite this as the integral from negative 1 to 0 of 3x squared over, that'd be u cubed dx. And then out here I'm going to say that I'm going to take the derivative of u and the derivative of 3x cubed minus 2. The derivative of u is du over dx. Derivative of 3x cubed would be 9x squared. Derivative of negative 2 is 0. Let's multiply by dx on each side. So I get du equals 9x squared dx. And then I'll divide by 9x squared on each side. So I get du over 9x squared is equal to dx. Let's resubstitute for dx into this equation. So I get integral negative 1 to 0. This would be 3x squared over u cubed times du over 9x squared. You can see that the 9x squareds are going to cancel, and the 3 would cancel to be a 1, the 9 would cancel to be a 3. So you would end up with the integral from negative 1 to 0 of 1 third, okay, 1 divided by 3, and then I'm going to take the u and it's in the denominator, I'm going to bring it to the numerator, so that would be u to the negative third du. Then I'm going to actually do the integration here. So I'll do the antiderivative of this, and that would be 1 third u to the negative 2 over negative 2. We're adding 1 to the power and then dividing by it. And then we're going to evaluate that from negative 1 to 0. Before we do that, we should simplify a little. So that's negative 1 sixth uh, u to the negative 2 from negative 1 to 0. I'm going to bring this to the denominator, so I'm going to get that's equal to negative 1 over 6 u squared. Again, evaluating from negative 1 to 0. And then I'm going to resubstitute u back in, so I get negative 1 over 6 3x cubed minus 2 squared. We're going to evaluate that from negative 1 to 0. So when I do the evaluation... 0 gets plugged in first, so I get negative 1 over 6. We'll get 3 times 0 cubed minus 2 squared. And then we're going to subtract negative 1 over 6 times, uh, it would be 3 times negative 1 cubed minus 2 squared. I'm going to do a lot of this in the calculator, but we've got, uh, essentially this would be 0 here, so that's negative 2 squared, which would be 4, so I end up with negative 1 over 4 here times 6 would be 24, and then I'm going to be adding, so we have uh, negative 1 cubed would be negative 3. Ne uh, negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Square that, that's 25. So you have 25 times 6. You get uh, 150. So this would be actually plus 1 over 150. If I take those and add those together, it would negative 1 divided by 24 plus 1 divided by 150. I get negative 7 over 200. So the area after this integration would be negative 7 over 200. 